Hey guys, this is Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams Real Estate. My focus is to keep you guys focused on all things real estate. So when it comes to buying, selling, or investing, you guys make informed decisions. Today I wanted to look uh, kind of at a broader question and that is, will housing prices cancel out low mortgage rates? I had stumbled upon a really good article from Realtor.com and I want to share most of this with you. The article covers the national economy and then of course the national real estate economy. The economy itself is on a mm, slow path to recovery. A report on regional economic conditions show a flattening in retail sales and obviously the restaurant and the hospitality industry are struggling to survive. Uh, local and regional banks are worried also about rising delinquency rates and you can go back and watch the um, uh, blog that I did with the uh, FHA delinquency rates where they're up at historic highs, 16% roughly. But there is an encouraging sign uh, and that is that weekly number of unemployment rates have actually declined. So at the start of COVID-19, we ended up losing about 22 million jobs and 11 of those have already managed to come back and, and quite quickly in reality. Um, on the real estate side of things, there is a brighter picture nationally. For year over year construction through September, permits are up just over 8%, starts are up about 11%, and completions are up 26%. And because of the strong buyer demand, home builders are much more optimistic about the outlook and increasing their pace. All the while, inventory levels for real estate nationally and locally have dropped to new lows. This in turn has pushed real estate prices up nearly 15% from over a year ago. So Realtor.com showed the pace um, of activity may actually be slowing down a bit through October. The housing recovery index shows demand is strong, yet new supply, pace of sales, and listing prices are beginning to moderate. Mortgage rates have reached a new record low in the third week of October, making this the 11th time in 2020 that mortgage rates have reached all-time lows. I know you guys are getting sick of hearing about historically low interest rates, but it keeps happening. It's truly unbelievable. However, with prices still outpacing buyers' earnings, we are nearing the tipping point where the benefit of the low interest rates are going to be erased by pricing increases. The affordability index for housing still remains very low, but we'll have a hard time keeping up if prices continue to rise by 15% a year. In a normal market for real estate, we expect to see appreciation about 3% above inflationary rates. And we'll talk about that affordability and affordability index in next week's blog. In the meantime, if you have any super tough questions that you'd like me to cover on our next blog, send me an email because we love a good challenge and engagement from our audience.